Hello everyone. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm in nature once again. I'm on a hidden gem um, search. Um, from the title and the thumbnail, you see, yeah, I'm on the search to go find the castle. It's it's not one of those castles that um, I think you are able to go inside and view things. I'm not sure. <laughs> However, I decided to search on Google because I wanted to find something, a hidden gem, something um, in this part of Japan um, with some history. Yeah, I love history. I, I love to learn about the culture, the old time things and what makes Japan Japan because we know Japanese culture is real huge and big and it's, it continues. So yeah. Um, the trek coming down here <laughs> was like something out of a movie again and um, yeah I'm just here by myself trying to find um, this castle we are going to walk together <laughs> just for record you know and yeah of course I I heard this isn't it beautiful just hearing all this in nature all right so anyways i'm going to put the camera around and let's go um in search of this castle hidden gem or a part of japanese history um let's go so yeah you can hear the water absolutely amazing yes <laughs> i'm in nature <laughs> nature it is indeed surprisingly you know when i was driving down here just now i saw a gentleman he went in here i'm not sure if he went to drink some water or to just wash up his his boot or whatever but yeah he was right in here this for me is amazing this is beautiful you know i love me some rivers or just some natural water spring or something that is hanging around absolutely love this i do not know what that sign is saying oh yeah and the gentleman that i saw actually i met him before so yeah anyways let's go find this castle oh so this is the entrance based on the google search i will give you the history of so that's a tory gate um, have I shown you what a Tory gate is? If you've seen like these things around Japan, they are mostly red. I've seen some gold ones on IG, but I've never seen one up front for myself. But yeah, these things are normally normally red. Um, they're called Tory gates. I will give you info on what Tory gates are. But yeah, so when you see this, it's normally like the entrance to a castle or something. So yeah, let us walk. Whoa. Wow. All right, so bamboo, 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 bamboo. Nature all around. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Not sure what's there. As I said before, this castle um, is not one of those castles that you can now visit and see things and ruins and that kind of thing. I think maybe just the building is here. We'll find out together. So let's make the trek up. So about Tori gates. A Tori is a traditional Japanese gate most commonly found at the entrance of or within a Shinto shrine where it symbolically marks the transition from the between the border of the secular world and the sacred worlds of the Shinto religion. The Shinto religion is very, very popular here in Japan. Um, Shinto and Buddhism, I think, are the two most popular ones. And yeah, so this is what the Tori gates represent. Um, the gate acts as a passageway into a shrine sacred space, and it is not uncommon for a shrine to have more than one Tori gate. So yeah. That's what Tori gate, um, when you see them, that's what it means and that's what they represent. And so, yeah, let's trek up <laughs> on these steps to go find this castle. A girl is unfit. So, yeah, of course I'm blowing a lot coming up these steps. But let's go. Oh. Let's see what we will discover. 
on this episode of Finding a Hidden Gem in Japan. This was a castle. Um, there's nothing here to tell you when the castle was built, so we have no date of construction. However, of course, when you look at things, you can see that this was built several moons, <laughs> several moons ago. But yeah, no date of construction. What we know, the little information that I could find was from other bloggers or something. They said that they also saw that the castle was used as a residence. For the Uruno clan, the Uruno clan, Uruno clan, we know that back in the day Japanese used to do with clans and different sectors and that kind of thing. So yeah, it was a residence of the Uruno clan um, and there were relatives of the Satake clan, right? And this was this property, so the Uruno castle, it was abandoned when the Satake clan was transferred to Akita. Akita is uh, another prefecture. So yeah, that's all the information that we have here. It now hosts a shrine. So this is what you see. It is now regarded as a shrine. So people come here and they pray. As I said before, as I was telling you, with the Tori gate, whenever you see Tori gate, it's uh, like a border or the transition from the secular world into their sacred space. And so this is now referred to as a sacred space. So people, it's a shrine. So people come here, they make, they give prayers or pray and they leave requests and so forth. So yeah, this is what this space is about. It is the Runa Castle Ruins. Um, you won't see much. Well, apart from this, there's not much to see. Um, other, I think other things are there. However, they are like hidden. They're under the grass and that kind of thing. As you can see, it is maintained, not maintained up to a standard where like for tourist attraction or that kind of thing, but people can come here. It's open 24 seven. You can come, you can visit. If you are one of those people, if you are from the Shinto religion or something, you can come and pray. So yeah, this is the Uruno castle ruins. And yeah, it was my pleasure to go in search of it. Thank you for coming along with me spooky and all but we did it we found it and yeah it was my pleasure it is my pleasure to also bring you other hidden treasures hidden gems or japanese history to allow you to know more about japanese culture that's it for today thank you so much and see you in the next one bye Another part of Japanese history that is preserved. I love that about their culture. Oh, the birds. <laughs> yeah, it's, we would call it a little bit spooky. Mm -hmm.